What's up, G-Fusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. Now, this time, let's talk about Kamen Rider remakes. Now, by remakes, I mean the remakes of the original Kamen Rider. So, uh, with the upcoming film, Shin Kamen Rider, coming into uh, 2022, so... This is actually not the first time that Toei is doing this with their beloved franchise. So, to those who uh, probably didn't know, back in around 2005 to 2006, so there was actually already a remake of the original Kamen Rider. And let's talk about how different they are going to be in this video. So before we actually begin, I would like to remind everyone that these videos are not intended for viewers under the age of 13, so please be advised. Okay, now start. Now, the Kamen Rider film that came out in 2005-2006, so it was not just a remake, but a reimagining uh, of the original Kamen Rider. So, uh, it's basically uh, Takeshi Hongo's story, but he's given a completely different uh, storyline. So, in the original Kamen Rider back in the 1970s, so Takeshi Hongo is supposed to be an athlete who has a very high IQ and can do basically anything. You know, he's very confident in himself. But the 2005 version uh, shows us a Takeshi Hongo uh, portrayed as a high school teacher. And, well, despite being uh, someone called a, a genius, I guess, uh, he doesn't really show abilities. Or he doesn't really apply himself, if you may. Uh, I'm not sure how I would describe it, but... He's definitely a much gentler version of the original. So, for comparison, uh, Takeshi Hongo uh, traditionally uses the pronoun ore, which uh, typically is used by a lot of common writers. And it's usually a sign of a more masculine character, like basically a tough guy character. But, this uh, 2005 version of Takeshi Hongo uses the pronoun boku, while uh, it is definitely a masculine pronoun, it's more of a gentle version, a gentle masculine version. So, uh, the original Takeshi Hongo is a very confident young man, and again, he is very athletic, very intelligent, that's why he was a target of Shocker, and... I think this uh, 2005 version of Takeshi Hongo was just uh, picked up along the street by shocker grunts. So, well, uh, nonetheless, uh, they have their differences to make them interesting. However, the 2022 version of Shin Kamen Rider, I think it's uh, going to go back to the roots. So this is definitely going to be a story more closely uh, created in line with the original Kamen Rider back in the 1970s. And the biggest uh, sign that it is a more faithful recreation of the original Kamen Rider, the costume. Okay, Now if you look at the costumes for Kamen Rider the first and Shin Kamen Rider... Well, of course, they are variants of the original Kamen Rider suit in the 1970s. They, uh, we, we could say that the 2005 version, for me, looks much more modernized. Although, the Shin Kamen Rider suit does look more modern. In a way, in a way it looks mo modern, but... It definitely sticks to the original Showa design. So, uh, again, uh, both are suits and uh, they have removable helmets, you know. 
they use the typhoon belt to transform although i'm not sure if uh, the shin kamen rider or, or the shin kamen rider film yeah uh, is going to utilize the original concept of takeshi transforming using the momentum of the cyclone his uh, motorcycle and then uh, allowing it to generate the energy with the you know the wind so going into the fan spinning it and you know somewhere pops the costume so that's how it was originally meant of course so uh, we know that uh, this was kind of scrapped because uh Hiroshi Fujioka injured himself during a stunt and he was uh, for a time replaced Uh, so we have Kamen, uh, which is why we have Kamen Rider Nigo. And Kamen Rider Nigo was actually the one who first used uh, hand gestures basically to have their own hands generate that energy, you know, that wind energy going into the belts, therefore allowing them to transform. However, in the 2005 version, Uh, <laughs> it's actually kind of nonsensical. Uh, it doesn't really fall into logic. Like, uh, they just showed their belts. <laughs> Especially with Kamen Rider Ichigo. So, uh, the Takeshi Hongo in that movie, the 2005 one, you know, Kamen Rider the first. So, he just opens up his jacket and the, there, he, there there it is, this, the typhoon, and it just spins uh, automatically, I guess. So, uh, no need to transform or anything. That's, uh, I don't remember them saying henshin at all. So, yeah, they just open their jackets and Uh, in comes the wind so very instant I guess but nonetheless uh, uh, I still kind of enjoyed uh, Kamen Rider the first and the next so the follow up movie to that uh, because uh, they are the suits alone are actually my favorite iterations of Ichigo and Nigo And, uh, well, V3 as well, I guess, because he appears in the next. So, I'm interested in how uh, this uh, Shin Kamen Rider is going to play out. Because I've already, uh, we already know, of course, uh, Kamen Rider Ichigo. And he's going to have an assistant. So, this, uh, I forgot the name of the character. Because she only appears in 13 episodes, like from episodes 1 to 13. But... After that, she's no longer in the show, but does appear in the Kamen Rider Spirits manga. But this character, whose name I forgot, sorry, uh, is going to be played by Minami Han- Hamabe. So, it's de- it was definitely big news because uh, she's definitely uh, a very popular actress. In fact, she's more popular than... Uh, Uh, Sosuke, it's Ikematsu, I believe, if I remember his name correctly. Uh, so he's the actor who's playing uh, this uh, iteration of uh, Takeshi Hongo for Shin Kamen Rider. So, yeah, we do hear that uh, Kamen Rider Nigo is also going to appear. However, we have no news of him yet. So how is he going to be introduced? Or I think he's going to come out uh, in the later half of the movie. So uh, I guess we could expect another like two-parter, uh, kind of like what they did with Kamen Rider the first and the next. So that's going to be exciting. But yeah, like I've said, I'm seeing that th- this Shin Kamen Rider is definitely going to be a lot more faithful to the original 1970s version of Kamen Rider. So, uh, how are they going to give it a modern twist? Well, again, sticking to the original plot line. Because, again, uh, the Kamen Rider, the first and the next movies, 
for uh basically like different timelines or you know uh completely different from the original but uh you know let me know in the comments like based on the suit alone or based on the premise of these stories alone which one would you prefer uh, would you prefer the more modern take of Kamen Rider the first and the next or do you prefer the story of Shin Kamen Rider which will basically be our recreation of the original 1970s Kamen Rider. So tell me down in the comments below. I, uh, for me, I do personally, uh, for the suits, I personally like uh, the first or uh, the 2005 version better. But if uh, story-wise, I'm much more interested in the Shin Kamen Rider, uh, you know, adaptation i barely watched the original common writer but uh you know i i know the story so and takeshi hongo <laughs> getting kidnapped by shocker he was uh, turned into a cyborg although you know it, it it basically uh is the same plot for all of these uh uh, versions, you know, from the original, the first, the next, and then Shin Kamen Rider. So, uh, yeah, that's the basic plot. Of course, uh, Takeshi Hongo is turned into a cyborg by Shocker, and then uh, he was able to escape before being brainwashed. So, he ends up fighting Shocker to, you know, to stop them, ironically using powers that uh, was given to him. So, yeah. Uh, that's how basically it's gonna go. So I'm just interested in how different they're going to make these because in the 2005 version, uh, the main antagonists, I guess. So they did have like the serpent and the scorpion, or was it scorpion? I forgot. But definitely, uh, the Spider Shocker is going to be the first uh, enemy that uh, this m new version of Takeshi Hongo will face. So, yeah. Anyways, again, uh, which version would you prefer to see? Uh, are you a fan of the first and the next movies? Or do you prefer the more Showa feel of Kam uh, Shin Kamen Rider? So, again leave it down in the comments. So, again, as always, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like, comment, share this video, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.